So today we're going to take a look at the KickPi K2 development board. This is basically a kind of a Raspberry Pi uh, alternative and very inexpensive, nice mid-range specs on it. And I tell you what, I'm really liking this guy a lot. It's got some really nice mid-range features on it. It's got the H618 quad-core A53 processor. And this one actually runs at 1.5 gigahertz. So all four processors, all four cores are 1.5 gigahertz. It's got 2 gig of RAM, it's got 8 gig of uh, eMMC, and it actually does come installed with the Android version on here, Android image on here. So you can just boot it up and play with it that way if you just want to do that. But you can download some other image on their website. They have Ubuntu desktop, Ubuntu server, uh, tablet, Android tablet, and Android TV or Google TV. So you can make a set-top box out of this if you want to, and I'll show you here all the, the, the uh, ports on here. You sell a K1 another version of this board and in fact they have one that actually comes with the case and the and the remote control so it's all pretty much set up for google tv box so that's kind of one of the things you could do with this guy and one of the thing i really like about this all these ports here are on the back all nice row not all over the place pretty much all, all on one side it does have a few things on the side very little sd card it has a little uh headphone jack if you wanted that uh, the GPIO pins, and you can, I think, you put power power it through the pins. There's a debug cable. They do sell some other other options for her. They sell a heat sink, a debug cable, and I think a power supply. So if you don't have those, you can do that through them. A uh, little infrared receiver. And on the back, gig Ethernet, two USB ports, 4K HDMI, and USB-C power. So really nice. And it did come with standoffs. Really nice to have that already. Take out of the box. You can put it on your project board and mount it, and your way you go. It does have Wi-Fi 5, and you can see it comes with a little antenna you can stick on, and Bluetooth 5.0. So some nice, decent specs on this guy. And uh, so far, I'm, I'm really impressed with this. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to plug it in, and I'm just, this is straight out of the box. Uh, it comes with a kind of basic Android image on there, so you can just tinker around a little bit with it if you want to. Uh, and then we're going to put Ubuntu, which I, I've already done that, put on the SD card the desktop version just to kind of give you an idea how it performs with uh, Ubuntu on there. I think most people, they're probably going to use uh, plain Jane Android and do their uh, controls with that, or just like maybe Ubuntu server, just keep it nice and simple in a small, small form. But all in all, I'm, I'm liking this. So I tell you, let's plug it in, check it out. So we just got to plug in all our cables and I already have this on my Wi-Fi. I set this up on the, uh, when I played with it earlier, because I want to give a little bit of testing. Let's see if I can get in there. There we go. And this is my mouse. Put him in right here. And let me grab the power. Where'd the power go? I lost my power. We'll plug in the power over here. Let's get it in there. There we go. There we go. There we go. And it does have a power and a reset button here, so you can turn it off and on. You can see there is an activity light here. Uh, the little blue one's activity, and the green one shows power. And so we're going to boot this up, capture it. Okay, so I turned it on. You can see it's got a little green power light, and a little blinking blue light shows activity. And there is, a, like I said, a start or a reset and a power button on the side here, so that's kind of nice. And this is all winter. You heard the sound here in a second. And it's kind of like a standard Google image on here, Google TV image. Not much you can do. You'd have to set this up. You can see your date and time, automatic date and time. So it looks like it hasn't quite set itself yet. Here's about. And let's see, here's the big droid OS 2.0.1, Android TV version 11 or 12, and uh, security patch level February 2022. So it is nice that it can run uh, Android 12, kind of the latest version for that. But other than that, there's not much you can do in here. You'd have to really configure it to do what you want to do. Uh, I think the, the exciting part is when you put your own image on here, uh, like Ubuntu, or uh, you, can actually, you can put the Android uh, tablet version on here if you want. It might be kind of fun for that if you're doing like a, a kiosk to touch display, those kind of things. But uh, I'll tell you, let's boot up into Ubuntu desktop. So I'm going to turn this off. Plug them. Ubuntu right here. Let's stick him in. Where's the little card slot? 
Oh, it's on the other side here. There we go. We'll plug them in. There we go. And now let's power them up. And we'll give that a second or two. And this actually boots pretty quick. The first time it took a little while. And I actually had run this for a little bit and play with it. And I did all the security updates and things like that. It seems like it boots up pretty darn quick now. You'll see it's going to be just kind of like a standard Ubuntu uh, boot. Let that finish up here. So it takes maybe 20, 25 seconds to boot up. Not too bad. And like I said, this is the desktop version. And we should be here in a second. And there you go, we're in. You can see I got the nice flower background here. And it kind of, the main screen shows you all like little partitions here. So it's kind of neat to see that. Uh, but yeah, here's some of the applications. Of course, you're going to get the terminal edit, terminal program, file manager, uh, web browser, get some settings, kind of the standard uh, Linux settings, or everything you need there. Software updates here. I've already done that, and that worked fine. So you can update it. And there's some development, graphics. Uh, not a lot on there. Enough to get you started. Uh, you can add your own, your own uh, applications on here. I think you can also uh, probably install it if you don't do too much to it onto the emmc um, android probably better for that uh, otherwise i would just run off the little sd card and so let's do the terminal program and let's look at htop and we'll look at some of the specs and you can see here's the four cores right here and i tell it, let's do Let's do another terminal program and do is it LS CPU. Oops. There we go. So you can kind of see here it is a 1.5 gigahertz. And the minimum gigahertz, megahertz is for 480. So that's uh, going to be its uh, not doing anything speed. And when it's maxed out, 1.5 gigahertz. So you can kind of see here. It has two gig of RAM, and we're using 558 megabyte, and we're not using any swap right now. As you start doing some work, you'll start using some swap up. So let's just open a browser, something that, let's see, where's he at? Web browser. This is Chromium. And if we get rid of him, we don't need him anymore. But you can see once he starts working, uh, all the cores start to peg out there a little bit. And this takes a second or two to get to my website because of the redirection. And I've, I've done um, some YouTube on here, and it seems like it streams just fine. But uh, all in all, pretty nice. Uh, I don't have the sound. The one thing you will have to configure is the Ubuntu by default. For some reason, it doesn't have the sound configured. But let's just pick another site here. Oops. Did I type it right? Oh, I typed it wrong. Oops. There we go. And there you go. So for the most part, browsing works fine. So if you just want to use this kind of like as a generic desktop, that would work great. You can see. It all just loads nice and fine. Like I said, I did some uh, YouTubing on here, played some videos. It does come with uh, it's a VLC on here. Let's see, multimedia VLC player. So you can watch movies and things like that, or do presentations. And let's see, anything of interest in here? Of course, you got your system, multimedia. There is no uh, office on here. So if you want to put like LibreOffice or something on here, you have to do that yourself. Uh, but it's a nice little start. It gives you kind of just enough to get you going. And it seems like it works just fine. You know, even as a desktop, I think this uh, kind of like a mid-range desktop, this would be fine for that because it seems like it performs pretty well. I do like uh, these boards with a little bit more memory, but as you can see right now, we're using 600 megabyte of the two gig. So even with uh, doing the simple things we were doing, we really weren't using much memory. 
and the processor seemed like they uh, all functioned just just fine. Nothing's really overloading it. Like I said I did put the heat sink on here just because I like a little heat sink just to keep it cooler, just to, in case it does throttle down or something like that from a heavy heavy use. But uh, all in all, I'm liking the kick pie so far. A nice price, a nice little board, uh, very simple. And if you don't worked with Raspberry Pis in the past, basically the same thing. Uh, they do, like I said, they do have their own images, the Ubuntu and the uh, Google. So you may be able to create your own. Uh, you can have to get, make sure you got the right uh, stuff for the all winter chips and things like that and the hardware. But uh, I think a, a, probably a core Linux would work on here just to do some customization. But uh, I'm liking this a lot. It seems like it works really well. Ubuntu seems like it functions just fine. And the uh, Android that's on there. You know, yeah, that's a good start. And there are some images. I did try uh, loading one of the images on the SD card in, uh, for Android, and I couldn't get it to boot. I'm going to play with those a little bit more, but I was more interested in Ubuntu because I think that's where I'm going to do all the development in, uh, just because it's a little simpler. And the uh, actually the Ubuntu server, because that's what I want. And you can do what you like, but all in all, I, I'm liking this guy a lot. You know, for the price, you can't really beat it. And for a new company, I think this company started about in 2020, 2022. Uh, they got a nice selection of boards right now and really nice price boards too. So check them out. That's KickPie.